so look what we have here the Atoto head unit Ooh. and I got some extra wires I'm gonna be installing the webcam not the webcam but the, the reverse camera and all these extra accessories I have such as um, trying out the steering wheel controls so let's get to it we'll be doing this on the Scion TC it's Christmas so let's install this for his little Christmas kit. Oh, looks like he's already breaking it down. So, uh, how's the breakdown, young one? I don't know. You're advancing this. So you d you never ever did this before? Of course not. Is, uh, so so how did you how did you pop this out? Uh, just with my fingers. Just so through the hole. So it was like through here, and then you just use a prying tool, search, and you just popped it out. You don't have to use a prying tool. Oh, you just use your hands. What a what a champ! What that does is it exposes these. So let's plug right here. Was this your uh, your hazard lights or something? Uh, it was the clock actually. Okay, you got the clock right there. Yeah. So the main limiting factor right here is these bolts that are still holding on. I mean, everything is pretty self-explanatory. So you just have to remove these, right? Yep. Cool. Just like most cars, this is probably going to be a 10 mil, which it is. Remove it like so. Finishing wrapping around the last bolt because there's one, two, three, four. My advice is maybe cover your shift knob or anything like that, or you know, this area. These brackets will do a number on your plastic trim, so you gotta be careful for that. You good? A few moments later. All right, do the honors. Be careful. This is the uh. This is a part you do not want to mess up. Those brackets will scratch your interior. So this is a Pioneer unit. And we got these antennas. So why don't you unplug these two main ones right now. Most likely that's the... Uh, usually this is like aux and steering wheels. This is your antenna. You can unplug that one. Does yours have satellite or no? No. That one right there looks like a USB. And yeah, he's having trouble removing the USB. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a hand. I need some backup. Don't pretend like I removed it, and this guy pretends like he did it. So this thing has a lot of uh, good amount of, got a lot of weight to it. It's made out of metal. You got your little fan right here. It's pretty well engineered. So let me just go over the ports again. This one. What's, what's plugged in right there? I don't know what that is, but this is USB. This is your main wiring harness for speakers and power and dimmer lights and all that. I believe these are the steering wheel controls and antenna. This one. There was nothing inside of it. So let's break, let's um, look at the cables. Let's see what we're dealing with. Should be pretty easy. This is where, uh, since we're doing a universal unit, your results may vary. If you're a Toyota, it's gonna be really easy because I'm just gonna show you the harness that I bought additional. You can use the harness that you that comes with it. Of everything, the only thing we really used was a 10 mil. Now, uh, this is like the tedious part. It does take a while, but it's pretty easy. It's like, you just kind of just match it. All right, so here's an example of how easy it is. Just kind of tedious. So on these, this thing right here, it says FL and FL plus. Front left and front left negative. On the harness you buy from you know Best Buy or Amazon or you know, forever for specifically for your car, um, it's gonna have information too. So um, usually you can, you can see in the wire too. But I just know that this is going to be the front, uh, the white one's what, front left? Yeah. So the, the white one, so this one right here, it's front left, the white, so the white one, just the white one without any stripe is the positive. And all you have to do is something like this. And you can tape tie it and make it look nice later. Or solder it, but honestly, this is fine. It's not professional. Okay, this is not this is a not a professional install. And then you have 
your front left negative. And in this case, it's even color match. Look at that. Black, white with a black stripe. So you can take out this bad boy. And you twist it. And you do that for all the speakers. So it's usually front left, front right, rear right, rear left. So there's, those are your four speakers. And then um, it'll look something like this. Boom. And now you can cut, you cut all course. You get some electric tape to cover it up, make it look nice. And um, continue for the gray ones. Continue and then you just keep working on it. It's pretty easy. I know it might look overwhelming, but if you break it down to just one speaker, one speaker, one speaker, it's pretty easy. That's it. The front right and front left speaker in. These are the plugs look like, all tidy. And you know, you just keep moving forward. Uh, I, just tw I just twist tied and then taped it. If you wanna be nice, you can put, you know, heat, ra heat shrink and also um, solder them together. But do as I say, not what I do. So if I were you, I would do that. But yeah, let's keep continuing. This guy never ever worked on anything like this. Oh, wh what have you done? It's, it's totally weird. Yeah, I, what, what's, what's the blue one? Oh. Can you read? The, the blue one doesn't say anything. But I'm guessing it's the... It's probably the uh, radio antenna, bro. Oh, it's your boy. And all we did was wire the 10 6 pin. So I have a lot of extra wires like the aux key and all that stuff, the backup stuff. But I just only did two wires. And we're gonna see if it turns on. Um, turn it on. Roger. Oh, it turned on. And we have some sound. We have some sound going through. Change to a station you might. 106.5. Oh, the antenna working pretty nice. Oh, shoot. I've been like an ox star. Okay, turn it off. I'm about to get some copyright. A few moments later. So, um, what what do so things are working right now. Why'd you turn turn it back on? Just turn it off. Okay, well, I, I just didn't want to get that copyright hit. Alright. Turn it off. I mean, not turn it off. Turn the sound up. Alright. So we still have the screen protector. Okay, we don't have an OBD2 we don't have the OBD2 device, okay? Sorry, I didn't get it for you. But um Okay, there needs to be Wi-Fi. We don't have the GPS antenna hooked up or anything. The screen looks pretty good. It looks like a it looks nice. It looks definitely a lot better than a spire in your own Um Let's kinda just kinda retrofit it into the, the main system. Or can you push the wires back and just kind of have it right there? Hopefully it doesn't short circuit anything. But yeah, there it is in its glory. We still have the screen protector. We're not going to take it out until we finish the install, just in case we're moving things. So the first things I like to do when I test it is we should check out Wi-Fi, which I don't have it in plugged in, but we can do that real quick. GPS, um, but Bluetooth should be able to work. So why don't you hook up your Bluetooth Make sure we test the tunes a little bit before we mess with other stuff like steering wire or USB. This is really, like all this took us, it didn't take us any time at all. Alright, so we're hooking up through the Bluetooth. We have his Samsung. Um, but this will work with your iPhone or Samsung, it doesn't matter. Under the Bluetooth devices, it, do, it does say a Toto, so that's the head unit's name. Um, did you click on it? Yeah, it's hooked up. It's connected. All right, let's um, go to home. And there should be a Bluetooth icon. This one has the Bluetooth calling. So it's connected to Samsung. Why don't you play some music? Play some, uh, play some no copyright sound music. Oh, shit, this is copyright. <laughs> what you hey, don't, hey, no swearing in this channel. Okay, this is... This is a tutorial and we're trying to make- What's not copyrighted? A few moments later. What if I going on? Let's listen to some hope. 
Turn off your AC, by the way. Okay. Turn up to turn up, max out that Bluetooth over there. Close the door so we get that maximum effect. Roll up the windows. Let's, we, roll up the windows. Oh, you gotta try to close your hatch too. We gotta get that vacuum sealed. So right now we're testing out the audio. It actually sounds pretty good. Is your left speaker working? It is? All right, so this is what I like to do to make sure all the speakers work, is we move the speaker. This should, this should be right, the back one, left, and then yours. So all of our speakers are working and it's correctly wired because we're saying, hey, front left, it's working, center, so that's that's a win. This guy's smiling right now. He's very happy right now. Sounds pretty good. Okay. So we have everything working. Radio's working. Um, all the speakers are working. The next thing we really have to test is Wi-Fi performance and GPS. So uh, let's turn it off and plug in these extra wires. Be careful. Be careful, Birdie. Okay, so, Wi-Fi needs... So, we have a Wi-Fi... No, it's just within the little antenna right there. So, it's easy. You don't really have to install it. GPS antenna. What we're probably going to do is we're going to put this antenna maybe on top of the unit or probably over there just for easy of installation. Some people route it over there and they, they go up the... A don't, you don't need to do that. Just do yourself a favor and just slap this on top of that and call it a day. Unless you want a bit really good GPS performance, who knows. Um, the Wi-Fi one is also something to be had. That's That would be more important to me. So if you want to do all that wiring for that or you're doing both at the same time, might as well do both at the same time. So let's get the, the Wi-Fi and GPS. Do the honors. I have extra GPS. Well, this is exciting. It actually works. So you sh make sure you plug it into the GPS. Okay. There's two on this unit. It's actually really well made. Some of them. So you want to just plop it on here like this. You can plop it anywhere you want. Yeah. Is it magnetized or no? No, it's a uh, three end. Three end. Okay. Yeah, we can just plop it in here right now. Okay. I actually don't do that right now. We'll just kind of throw it in the back. Okay. Open this. Until we figure out the situation with the trim pieces and the fitment, generally you can just plop it back there, but I mean, there's a nice spot right here. You can plop it back to this little metal bar. No, you know what? Fit and finish is really important, okay? As an artist, Sometimes looks is more important than performance. You have to make certain compromises to get the most out of everything. There's a balance between, you know, performance and looks. Make sure this is tight. Same with this thing, you can plop it right here. As long as you just have it, it's good. Okay, so let's do the best case scenario pretty much. Our Wi-Fi router is actually pretty far. And Set it up. Do I put it in. Put it. In. Where's the GPS? That's what she said. Dude, we're trying to keep things PG, man. All right. All right. So now we have Wi-Fi enabled with this apparatus right here. Look at that instant boot on. You gotta love that instant boot on faster than OEM. Oh, and we get Wi-Fi signals right, right, right out the right. bat. Dude, my phone doesn't even get Wi-Fi signal here. Yo, this is it's your boy Note 8. Wait for it. This is a Note 8, and my signal is terrible. I guess, uh, now we'll just put it, let's put it right here. 
connected and this thing has a good amount of bars uh, Samsung you gotta step up your game you gotta step up uh, GPS too so this guy really needs GPS he is a uh, what you call a uh, Wabaki a rookie driver they're turning off location services on we can um, this guy is Pokey by Hawaii in SoCal shows all the directions and sh ish and there you have it you got, you got Los Angeles six hour drive everything's smooth it's actually really fast it's like any kind of smartphone kind of modern day smartphone that you kind of expect I mean what I see right here resolution is great compare uh, especially compared to something like the original unit that looks like it was on an N64 I mean don't get me wrong it it, it it's not like the best like the Note 8 it's the best OLED screen <laughs> You know, oh, yeah, it looks good. It's, it's oh, just it's, it's this. Good. This is a yeah, good, good screen right here. Yeah, 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 good. Um, but I'm saying the, that this looks nice. good. Oh, oh that's yo, that that is real bright. Yeah, is that HDR10? Oh shoot, my well, I can turn on my brightness too. You know. I'm pretty sure this yeah, one's brighter. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can turn on my brightness too. Look at that. I'm pretty sure this is brighter. Yo, let me get a white screen. Ooh. You be the judge. This one's you, more blue. This, this one's okay. More warm. So you're saying, oh, that one's more like all warm. And okay. Actually, okay, that looks good. Okay, that's definitely not higher. Don't listen to this troll. It looks good, but it ain't like phone of the year good. MB oh, HD. That's a small screen. This Damn, this is six point three inches. This is seven. Are you serious? This is seven. Oh inches. shoot. Well, uh, Yo, I told you not to swear. There's always swearing. But anyways, let's continue to test and uh, continue. Oh, this guys gonna watch some YouTube videos. Um, steering wheel control and backup camera is another thing we need to tackle. So let's, get, let's start working on those. Um, if time permits.